Ho, 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 bonjour, bonjour, mes amis. Bienvenue back to Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium's Dawn. I have no idea where the accent started going there at the end. Anyway, welcome back, partners. Not actually returning for a full series here. I, I just like the game. I like the mod. It's just that the mod does not like me, and it quite often shows this by flipping me a giant middle finger when I'm trying to record. But anyway, I, I'm back today because... You see... See what I mean? It's doing something right now. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm back because a lot of stuff has changed. There's a lot of new stuff for different countries. I don't remember there being this much here for France. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but anyway, I just figured I'd come back. Today, my plan is to reinstall Monarchy to France to bring order back. Yes, we're, we will bring a new age of kings back to the world. Uh, I'm trying to decide right now between... Bonapartes or the Bourbonists? Yes, um... I, I, I'm, I'm leaning more towards Bonaparte at the moment. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Napoleon, I shall divide and conquer. I'm sorry. Right, let, let's go ahead. Uh, let's, what am I doing? I actually needed to select something here before I actually close that. Alright, we're going to grab our future. Do that first. Uh, we'll do that. Let's go ahead and get this uh, roll in here. I might as well... Okay, let me look here. What do we want? Let, let's have... Bring you down here. Oh, I, I thought... Never mind. <laughs> These guys can convoy raid out here. Oh, right here. Something like that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, These guys... You see, something's going on right now. It's like not let me see the entire screen for some reason like part of the screen is like pushed over to the side uh, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm clicking over there on the other side but anyway let's go ahead and let this a roll let, let me know partners if you enjoy this um, I, I might do more like little one-off videos like well, I'm not actually being serious I'm just like messing around with the game I actually had a few requests to play as certain countries and certain parties I think I had a request from who was it? Somebody asked me to play as Turkey. And, uh, who did they want? I think it was the... Who was it? I can't remember. I, I looked it up. I, I think it was the Socialist Party they requested. Oh, no, it was the CHP. That's who it was. CHP is who they were one. So, um... I can't I'm sorry, I can't remember who asked me that. But I, I might do, like, a one, little one-off video... With them as well. All right, what do we have going on right now? We have that going. Um, I can't see how many we have in production because, again, the screen is off to the side. <laughs> I tried closing and restarting the video, uh, the uh, game, several times to fix that, but it doesn't seem to have fixed anything. All right. Of course, it hasn't seemed because it's it's still doing the exact same thing. Let, let's just do that. We'll get that going. Put a little bit of a surplus up on some of this stuff. Um, what do we need? I might get some attack. Well, let's get some attack aircraft in production. Okay, and I might as well work on the economy. Yeah, let's let's do that. That's the smart thing to do. Hope in our quest to bring back the glorious monarchy of France. Okay, I, I might, I think the best idea if I was going to be doing like a Monarchist playthrough as France is actually to try to bring down, um, well, take out NATO out of Europe. So I, I'm thinking pushing Monarchy over in the UK, Germany, and Italy would probably be a good idea because I think that would also, that would, not only would that get rid of uh, NATO in Europe for the most part, but that would also destroy the EU, which I think might be a better option. That'll make everybody a little easier to manage for us. Uh, right. Back off screen. Let's jump back off screen. You know, I think there's actually some new parties for France as well. I don't remember this. The Egalité et Reconciliation. Uh, it's fascist. There's the Party Nationaliste Francais. Of course, the House of Bourbon. Front National, we played as them. Uh, anything else new here? I don't know. Let me look at Germany. Did anything change over here with Germany? I don't know why I'm looking at this. I can't really tell anything. 
All right, so we have the NPD still. We have the Shield Partai, uh, the CDU, the SPD, FDP, Grun, and PDS. Okay. I, I know there was a big update uh, to the mod. Oh. The mod had a big, big update not too long ago, and it actually did some stuff with some of the African countries. I know Ethiopia has a bunch of new stuff going on. Uh, they, they gave uh, Ethiopia their own focus tree. Uh, let's see here. Over here. Legacy of Abyssinia, so you can go different ways. I think you can go down this way at least to monarchy, go down this way at least to like Republica ideas. And down this way, I think it goes more towards a communist route. Yes, it does. Okay. So it's interesting to see what watch them develop certain things um, with the mod. I'm kind of hoping that they'll put a little more work into uh, Texas over here. Because Texas is a formidable nation. And I would like to see them like have like all the actual Texas parties. Like the T&M... Um, Texas GOP. Well, of course, the GOP is more than just Texas, but there's like several smaller parties in Texas that would be interesting to see them add to the uh, game for an independent Texas. Because I know they did something similar with the uh, Confederate states. And I think they actually added... Who, who else? I think Florida is now a formable nation. Yes, it is. New England, I'm pretty sure, is as well. I think... Yeah, there we go. Again, everything's off to the screen. The thing that kind of surprised me, though, is they made Louisiana... One, which I, I guess that makes sense. Louisiana is a bit different from most of the states around them, just like Texas is. Uh, who else? There's Cascadia, right? Cascadia in California. Cal California? Yes, okay. And of course, Alaska and Hawaii. Um, it would be really interesting with the U.S. to see them like make all the states formable, but I, I know that would be a bit of an issue considering how much data that would take up, because this game already, with this mod, is stretching it, because... There's a lot more countries than there are in the base game of uh, Hearts of Iron 4. Right. Anything to take care of right now? I think everything's... Nothing's changed. All right, back off screen, back off screen. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Algiers Agreement. See, that's something new there, too. That's part of what they were working on with, the, uh, with Africa. But at the start of the game, Eritrea and Ethiopia are actually at war. Uh, so that ended up in a white piece. Right. What do we need? We need Royal Aristocrat. I don't know where all these points came from, but I'm not going to complain. Let's go ahead and put a point there. We'll take that. Uh, right down here. Look at here real quick. Eritrea does... I don't think Ethiopia has a claim on it. Is. But at the start of the game, yeah, uh, Ethiopia is at war with Eritrea. Which is one of the big changes. Um, let that roll. Okay. And that's about to finish up our future spirit of revolution in the U.S. China moves towards democracy, following some signals that the PRC government ha may be eyeing reform measures. The so-called Jade Spring pro-democracy movement is on the march across mainland China, starting out as a demonstrations. Demonstrations have gradually turned into a call for democracy, well established in multiple cities and provinces. The demonstrations have proven too large for police forces to quell, and online support has overwhelmed government censors even more significantly. A growing number of government officials have voiced support for the movement. Okay. Uh, spirit of revolution in the United States. The current system is utterly unacceptable. The people and the nation state are uh, getting wrecked by the swamps of politics and the economic oligarchs and the backroom backstabbers that run our country from the shadows. Bill Clinton, President of the United States, has today caused a lot of eye raised eyebrows when going on a rant about the political process that a Fox News pundit called unhinged and that was un that was insulted what? That was insulted as unpresidential and completely unprecedented by a speaker on the CNN network. It is, however, yet unclear whether or not Bill Clinton was advocating a ra radical swing towards the far right and the nation state or towards the far left and what does that say the people is that what it said i don't know <laughs> all right next up let's um grab the next one is going to be fraternite 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 okay <laughs> french okay do that right back off screen back off screen 
Uh, Germany, what are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> I have never seen them do this. <laughs> okay. Um, apparently, Germany is going communist. This is not good. <laughs> or it could be. I, I don't know. This way I won't have to worry about, like, uh, making them go uh, monarchist to break up the, uh, break up NATO or the EU. And if anything, it would give me a reason to invade. Yeah, you didn't think about that, did you, Germany? And... There we go. Okay, what do we got? Returnité. France has been unhappy with the heartless and degenerate policies endorsed in the world recently. French President Jacques Chirac has taken a clear new authoritarian streak in terms of policies and rhetoric. Jacques Chirac promises... It's a fun name. Promises that this will lead to a, a fraternity between the brothers and sisters under the French flag, but international observers are skeptical. In the words of an Irish journalist, a democracy should not need a dictator to become more democratic. Well, that's okay, because we're not going to be a democracy, are we? No, 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 we're going monarchy. All right, over here. Okay, uh, which way to go next? Let's see here. Okay. What kind of a sound was that? Well, let's just grab that one. I think I need to grab both of those anyway to get the uh, where I'm going. So we'll do that. And... Well. Derp. Okay. Russia goes to war. Okay, there goes Chechnya. So long. That didn't take too long at all. Outstanding political activist. Okay, stability increased by one. Political power five. All right, that was quick. Right. Well, what exactly is going on? I've noticed Spain is making themselves comfortable on this side of the border. Hmm. Right. Don't get too comfortable. You won't be there for long. Okay, so a Germany apparently went down this way. So I, I don't think they're going... Let me see. What is the difference? I think this way here leads them to be more isolationist. Uh, if they had gone the other way, I think... I think that would have led to them possibly being an issue for us. Let me see here. Uh, hmm. Attack capitalism. Now, I think they're going more the isolationist route. Which, I, I guess that's the more preferable of the two. Alright, what, what happened? I was talking and I missed something. Oh, we apparently have a bunch of stuff we need to research. Okay, let's let's actually get to work then. All right, grab that. Uh, grab... Yeah, that there. Okay. I kind of went a different route this time. Last time I played as France, I immediately started recruiting. But it's really not that big of an issue right now, to be honest, from what I want to I do. All right, presidential election. George W. Whereas we like to call him King George. I'm sorry. All right, um... Back off screen, back off screen. Okay, guys, quick question. Uh, not, not, not the audience, not, not you partners. I'm not talking to these guys. Uh, why do we feel the need to bunch on the border of Monaco? I mean, I, I, I just set this up so you'd have something to do, but I wasn't expecting you to go um, terrifying Monaco. I mean, I get it. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 it belongs to France and all. No offense to the Monaco people. I'm just saying that from the point of the video game. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, yeah can, can we spread out a little bit more along the border with Italy? Can we? Please? So, the last time I did play as France, I played as the Front National. And I'm seeing there's a lot of new stuff for the Front National here. So, you can, of course, you got the Frexit, you got all this stuff here. But then you could choose between either uh, Jean-Marie Le Pen or... Um, what was her name? Oh, Marine Le Pen. It says right there. <laughs> So you can actually choose between the two, which is interesting. Uh, civilized Outlook. Uh, okay, Ethiopia gains mi American military assistance. Uh, both the United States of America and the People's Republic of China have, over the past few months, attempted to gain armaments contracts with the Ethiopian Ministry of Defense. Ethiopia has now decided to order large amounts of weaponry from, well, weaponry from American corporations. The People's Republic of China has already begun enacting legislation that will make it harder for Chinese companies to trade with Ethiopia in order to punish the East African state that dared to defy them. Ethiopia has defied China. Okay. 
I don't know why I'm trying to read so fast in these things. I, I don't know. Okay, Japan seeks trade with China, denying American advances into the Japanese economy. The Tokyo government has instead announced that they would seek closer trade relationships with Chinese rather than the than selling the Japanese people to the Americans, uh, as according to the Japanese Minister of Finance. Okay. Uh, what do we got going over here? Apparently Switzerland has a bunch of new stuff too. That's interesting. So a lot of the countries that you wouldn't really think would have much going for them they have actually had a lot of new stuff added to them hmm it's a great way to put it <laughs> is it no, I'm kind of curious though is there anything uh, nothing really there that would affect us for the most part they're just focusing on this right here All right close that up close that up and back off screen Ah, yes, we're getting so close. Yes, I can taste the glorious return of the monarchy. Why would I Why would I taste it? Why Why was that the first thing that came to mind? I don't, I don't know. Okay. I could have said anything else, but no, I, I said I could taste it. I don't know. All right, moving on. Oh, ho, 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 Francais leaves the European Union. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, anyway, uh, today the French delegation... Uh, uh, to the European Parliament, left the building at Brussels for what might be the last time Article 50 has been fulfilled and pulled through. The treaties with the EU partners reset to ones of usual international partnership. France has left the European Union. All right. This I, I think this episode might be going on longer than usual. Shh. <clears throat> What's oh George? Oh yeah. Apparently they added a bunch of new stuff uh, for the U.S. after September 11th. Okay, George W. Bush announces his enduring freedom. President of the United States, George W. Bush, has informed the U.S. Congress that tomorrow, on October 7th, the military invasion of the Taliban-ruled Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan would begin. The American military attack is to carry the title Operation Enduring Freedom. The president also announced his intention to somehow involve the allied nations in the war effort. The government of Afghanistan has already issued a declaration of protest, but at... As no major nation on Earth actually has diplomatic relations with Afghanistan, it is unlikely to have an effect. We actually had a, um, it was off screen, but they, 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 there was actually a pop-up for France that came up. Um, it allowed us to either just uh, show support for the Americans or to actually pledge aid. I, I just, um, I just showed support. I didn't actually pledge aid, which actually gave us a boost in, uh, in unity? Or was it stability? It gave us a boost in one of those. All right, let that roll. Okay, back off screen. You know, I'm wondering what they're actually saying in the songs in, in this game. Like, I literally just thought I heard them say, Vive la France. Is that what they said? It sounded like it. Right. All right how, how much longer? For some reason, um, immediately after I started talking about just showing support for the U.S., this was the next thing that was uh, on the list of things I had to do to hit... What we needed to get as far as the monarchy chain. <laughs> yeah, abandon NATO. How, how is Afghanistan going? Let me look at that real quick. Okay, we have U.S., Afghanistan. Things are not going good for Afghanistan. Uh, Germany is really trucking along there. As far as... Uh, oh, Afghanistan was puppeted. As far as uh, this goes, because they, they just got one more of the... Um, all right here, secure the revolution. So they got that done with. So they're really going down that path. At least it's not the one that will lead them into conflict with us for the time being. Um, again, this is just a one-time thing, guys. Unless you guys really want me to continue playing this playthrough, which I, I don't know if I will, because, again, this game gives me all kinds of problems when I'm trying to play it. Um, but if you... In if you would like to see me do, like, a few more episodes of this, let me know. It'll probably be a while before the next episode. But, um, if you guys didn't like it, I, I will try to get more episodes up. I'm just letting you guys know it'll be a little weird as far as uploads go. Because I got a bunch of stuff I have to take care of first right now. Um, okay. Royal Reconstruction is next. We are almost there. Germany, what are you up to? What do we got here? Okay, the Bonn Agreement. In an attempt to build a proper post-war order... And in Afghanistan, without the Taliban, several national delegations from Western countries have met with 25... Okay, so it wasn't just Germany. Never mind. 
uh, with 25 Afghan leaders in the city of Bonn, Germany. Okay, well, never mind. There it goes again. And expected, as expected, the Islamic conservative government of Hamid Karzai, noted anti-Taliban fighter, was confirmed, and Karzai was recognized by the international community as the rightful president of Afghanistan. Most of the nations of the world have now begun, once again, establishing diplomatic relations with Afghanistan. Will Afghanistan finally find peace? I forgot that we have territory over here. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm sorry. All right, you guys get your own division. Here you go, or army, whatever. Um, who do we have that would work here? I'm thinking General Frank Boudet. Boudet? I think Ranger would be the best way to go. Well, what else is there? Let me look real quick. Uh, Hill Fighter, no, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, invader, maybe. Maybe. Uh, I'm thinking either the Ranger or... Uh, where was he? Right here. The Ranger or... Um, Luck Gerard. Luck? Okay. <laughs> One of those two. Um, Desert Fox. That will not be necessary here. Ooh, this guy's pretty good. It's that jungle, uh, the, the desert rat, that desert fox that isn't really necessary. Jungle rat would be pretty good, but I don't know. I think I'm going to go with, um, I think I like Frank Boudet. Bo Boudet? Bo Boudet? Frank Boudet. Boudet. <sighs> okay, this is taking too long. Okay, um, is there more troops over here? No, okay. Right, back off screen. At last, the time has come. House of Bonaparte. All right. How you doing, Germany? Anything new going on over here with you? For some reason, I'm just interested in what they're up to. Yeah, the communists have definitely gained a lot of power there. All right. I guess I'm going to go ahead and set these guys up here. Like that, which is what we did when we played as the Front National. How is that going to look for them? Let's get them in the position real quick. Uh, let's have you convoy raiding in the area. That's fine. Do that. Er, ooh, okay. That could be a bit of an issue. I don't think Suriname has that much of an army. Okay, they have one. One division. So, yeah. Yeah, it would be worth uh, taking them out as our first uh, act of war. As far as, like, conquest and building up a French empire. Ha ha ha! At last! The monarchists have been successful. Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, no, no, wait, what? What are you doing? Bourbon? We have a pretender on the throne. Isn't this supposed to be House Bonaparte? It is. No, Jean Christophe. Bonaparte. Why is it listed as Bourbon? We have a problem. <laughs> Coup in Bourbon, France. It wasn't supposed to be Bourbon, France, but okay. Right. Well. Um, sh should we keep it rolling and see if it fixes itself? Maybe I have to get this one completed. Hmm. Oh, I see. No, okay, so, um... What happened is this only makes Jean Christophe the leader of the Monarchist Party. It does not change it to the uh, House Bonaparte being the ruler, ruling party. I think I have to get this one here first. Uh, okay, so we need to get House Bonaparte done, and then we'll be set... Yes, everything will be great, everything will be grand. And we can at last begin to claim Greater France. Yeah, so Wallonia, you're on the list. Um, Andorra. Andorra? Yes, Andorra. That down here. Monaco over there. Okay, who, who else? Don't they speak French in Luxembourg? 
I think. I'll have to go Google this. <laughs> the self-styled Imperial House of Bonaparte, the descendants of the self-crowned Emperor Napoleon the First Bonaparte, 1769-1821, have returned to the Versailles. Uh, I don't know why I added the... While Napoleon and his descendants always had been popular in France, they were less so abroad, both with foreign nobles and foreign commoners. The recent jingoistic rhetoric by Jean Christophe, who recently ascended as Emperor of the French, has been called into question by the leaders of Germany, Britain, Italy, and Russia. The new rulers of France have few friends. Together with the new ruling system, France has unveiled a new flag, the same as the old, but flown with red by the po hoist. Okay. A call back to the French Revolution. Under, I, again, I can't read that. Right. Whatever. But you know what this means, partners. Right. Might have been a little overkill, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> 